Well, that was almost a catastrophe. Chase dropped the camera. Did we just get stuck? Now we're stuck. Well, we're walking around downtown Loretto now. What's really convenient about where we're staying is it's like basically you could throw a rock and you're in the heart of downtown. So we're staying at El Moro. It is essentially just a gravel lot, but with the proximity to town, it makes it a wonderful location for being able to just cruise around and do stuff. It's a plant shop. But I can't even take plants over the border anyways. They would seize them when we were trying to get back into the U.S. So I just like to look. I love plants. It's a very Americanized store, I must say. Como se dice yab yab? Manzana. Stubby. That grocery store was on the expensive end. I was looking at stuff and like, I don't know, like $10 for a jar of peanut butter. Also, a fun thing about labels in other countries, they do this in Ecuador as well, but here in Mexico, on the top, they will tell you if it's bad for you, basically, with little warning signs. So this has excessive sodium. The cookies we got say excessive grasa, which is excesso grasa, which is excessive fat, and sugar, and they just basically put warning labels on everything. But I gotta put groceries away now. There's not too many refrigerator things, but there's a whole lot of stuff. This town is so beautiful at night. It's so Pretty amazing. Uh, this town's awesome. I can't wait to come back here because we're not really trying to go to Cabo and so when Jen and Charlie go to Cabo we're gonna come back here and spend some time in this like really beautiful little town. We're going to go to the bakery and the tortilleria. Good morning. Best croissants in all of Mexico. We'll be the judge of that, but they opened a little bit late today and there was already a line of people, but I'm really stoked that we stayed in line because who knows, maybe the first person's just gonna buy 50 croissants and then go sell them at the market for twice the price. I want to get them fresh. Cuatro chocolate. Y dos rolls de canela. Y seis uh, croissants. I'm so excited. <laughs> oh, no, I lied. I want the cinnamon roll. Wow. Look at this, guys. It's sticky, though. <laughs> Yummy. I'm normally not a fan of raisins in my cinnamon roll, but this is so good. I don't even care. That's what's up. Yeah. Should I be just totally cruel and eat the middle? <gasps> if you wind up in Loretto, you gotta go to Pan Pan. Pani Pan. So good. All right, bakery down, tortilleria next. Tortilleria. One kilo of corn tortillas acquired. Maize, if, if you're into the Spanish, do that for you. All right, little gasolina stop. And the gas prices have not reflected what's happening in the world right now down here in Mexico. I did hear from my mom that it's already over $6 in San Diego. So we will not be going back through California for sure. 
it just we can't afford it we're already pushing our pushing our budget and our luck with going further south so it's just not in the cards for us to go back to california but i'll probably fly back there and see my best girl gabby and go visit her family and meet her new little girl on a different time because it's just it's gonna be so expensive in the bus so All right, last pit stop, and then we're on to the beach. We go get some candy. Never seen this in the States. This is a lime flavored Oreo. You want them? No. no. <laughs> Try a new cookie. I'm, I'm down to try a new cookie. Well, that was almost a catastrophe. Chase dropped the camera in the store while I was ravaging the candy <laughs> section. What happened? Oops, now can you see it? That is what happened to our our Stay UV filter. filter. So lens is okay, the camera's okay. It dinged up Chase's foot a little bit because it dropped right on it, and we have a very heavy camera because Chase has put a whole bunch of crap on it. But everything seems to be all right, and we still scored a bunch of candy. Broken lens filter. And got some cranky, some moristas, root beer suckers for Chase. This one's really weird. This is like a salted apricot sucker. And then these guys are Fresa. Some strawberry. I don't know what these are. Some other little tiny ones. Bocarindo. Not sure how this is going to go, but thank you, Brenda, for the recommendation. And Kiwi Haichu. Stoked on this. I'm gonna find out right now if this root beer tastes like root beer. I'm pretty sure Tarito is root beer. That this is, is not awesome. root beer. What is it? Cream soda? What is it? Mm. Peach. Hmm. It's weird because it looks like a soda. It does. But it's peach. Oh. Whoops. Essence of frutas. So cool. I totally thought that was mm -hmm. root beer. Oopsies. So, what did you learn? I'm going to stare at the cookies. Onward to the beach! Alright, we got to our first free beach. Um, it does look like there's a little bit of loose, like some loose, soft, deep sand here. So, we're just going to play it smart. And we're going to go walk it real quick before we decide to pull anywhere that we might get stuck. Just better be safe than sorry. Baja lesson number, I don't even know what number this is. Baja lesson number so-and-so. Walk it if you're not sure. Just so you can get a feel for it. We'll check the other side, but hopefully if we go real slow, because we're a dually, we can float over the sand. There's a big old dead fish. Renegades got stuck. That's why you walk it first, folks. <laughs> you walk it. <laughs> Glad we did, because otherwise we also might be stuck. But yeah, we're gonna go. Stuck right in front of us. Yeah, we're gonna go grab our shovel and our tracks. Some yeah. of those pretty new tracks we bought. Yeah. Hopefully they don't. Green. Hopefully they don't snap. <laughs> we're gonna find out. As they say in Spanish, empuje. Yeah, they're out barely but we got it so now we're gonna find where we're camping probably by the tree because it's kind of hard pack. are we okay maybe did we just get stuck now we're stuck
We are heavy. We're like 12,600 pounds. It does help that we have dually in the back, like dual tires, dual axle. Kind of helps like distribute more of our weight, but it's just really soft sand here. So, you know, we're not too dug in though, as you can tell. Yeah, we're stuck. Shit. But when stuck in paradise, you might as well stay and enjoy it, so. We got full water, we got food, we got a beautiful view, and two lovely local men came by and asked if we like needed help, and I just told them like, this is a problem for tomorrow, <laughs> so. Oh, you blessed child. It's a new kind too. I love you. It's a new kind. <gasps> yes. Your girl loves salty beers! Mmm, smells good. She just delivered me a michelada. I was suspect because she came over. She was like, can we have two glasses of ice? Yes. Mm. To the drive-in food. Yup, yup. What did I do? You, you fed me! He made me a sandwich! Not only did he make me a sandwich, he cut up vegetables to earth. Excuse me, tomatoes and fruit. He cut up other things to put on a sandwich, not just bread and meat. This is, are there Doritos on here? Yeah. <laughs> cool thing about this site, well, the uncool thing is that we're stuck, but it's not stuck that bad. This is a free campsite. Is It's kind of just surrounded by mountains. We're just giant jagged peaks everywhere. There's a couple little islas out here like in the Sea of Cortez and it's pretty private. There's one other large fifth wheel with us and then you can kind of see there's three rigs down on the end there. A little different environment. Mexico has so much to offer like there's literally so many different kind of landscapes and terrains that you can experience so and this is just Baja not even including the other parts of Mexico. Mainland Mexico as they call it. But I'm not sure if this is something like you don't film children, but I'm totally gonna film this sweet ass rig for you guys when they go by. Phenomena! Oh, just, just like nothing. That's so cool. We're all sitting on the roof deck chatting about how we would bless you. Oh, two down, bless you. But I would want to sitting about how we would change our rigs or what we would do next, like next time on another build. It's kind of fascinating. Chase and I would probably go smaller. Renegades probably a little bigger, a little taller. So. Hey. We had a nice little hangout session on the roof deck. Got a bag of. So we're gonna have a little late night Mexican candy spot and then go to bed. I'm good on that. What? You don't wanna try any of this? This is a kiwi high chew. Do you like high chews? Isn't that gum? High chew's not a gum. Is it healthy? No, it's it's like a starburst, but better. Paper around this or is I already this feel it? it for you. I don't really get kiwi. Yeah, I agree. It's a little more apple-y than kiwi. By the way, we're gonna go sleep. Babe, one candy. Good night. <laughs> totally gonna eat another. This spot's really, really pretty magical for being a place that's free. Mm. So kind of like having your own little private beach and we got a pretty nice little setup. Love it when I hear a knock on the bus and then just delivery. What we got? The, these guys and that guy. Got delivered a michelada yesterday. Chase gave me a sandwich and Jen made extra breakfast so we get snackies. Yeah, life is good. I had myself a little siesta this morning after we got snacks from Jen and Charlie, and now I'm going to try another candy. This one I'm probably the most skeptical of. Oh, hola pop. 
Hola. Okay. There is a little salty pocket on the back. So, whoa, very salty. I'm gonna watch a movie. It's very windy outside today. I'm very windy outside. So, I'm gonna watch a little movie and eat my super salty spot popsicle, apricot, cola pop, I approve. And then maybe make something for food in a little bit. I'm sitting somewhere that you don't typically see us, but we're gonna host a little movie night tonight, so Chase set up our, our couch. Yes, we actually have a couch. If we're watching a movie, we just watch from the, from the, from bed. the bed. That's what I did today. It's set up, like I'll show you though, like. Yeah, so basically just like a monitor mount and use a widescreen monitor and then um, we can plug our cell phone or our laptop or iPad or whatever in. Seldom. Wow. <laughs> Seldom do we set this up, but it is nice. But yeah, so movie night tonight and Jen's making mushroom quesadillas, I think. And Kenzie's going to make cookies. Nice top knot, you twat. You did this. I know. <laughs> It's moving that time. It's moving that. It's official. Bam. We gonna watch Instant Family. Kenzie was right on the name. Oh, well, Kenzie still wins no matter so what. Hey. Mm -hmm. No biting. Just loves. That's right. <laughs> okay. <laughs> anyway, we just gonna watch this movie and hopefully it's good. Oh, it's good. It's good. Crying and laughing. Good morning. We're still stuck. We've just enjoyed being stuck. But the sand is kind of cold, and so Kenzie's still sleeping, but I just told her that I'm going to try to pull forward, so she'll have to deal with it. It didn't happen, so we'll put sand tracks and see how it goes. All right, attempt number two. Attempt number three. All right, well, just got a very rude wake up call this morning. She's just like, don't worry, just stay in bed. I'm just gonna try to move the bus while the sand is cold. Might be easier. It was like, oh. Think uno mas. Let's see if they're right. I did not realize this was as deep as it was here. Yes, Charlie. <laughs> All you, baby. All you. 